Hello, everybody, and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Uh, Springboks 33, Australia 7. We break the Brisbane curse. Uh, 11 years since we won. Um, especially all the way back to 2013. But today, the box rocked up and uh, put on a show, to be perfectly honest. Really, really impressive win that. Um, uh, last seven minutes of, of poor discipline, three yellow cards, um, and uh, conceding a try eventually. But I mean, to concede a try in the 76th minute for the first time, conceding points in the game, shows you how impressive and how dominant that Springbok performance was. A, a performance of, of, of mixed things, you know, uh, and, and really good things as well. Skill set on display, phenomenal. Innovation from lineups, from, from, from scrum moves. Um, good, good hands, for example. The box are looking so refreshed and so comfortable in trying new things and are accurate in trying these things. Um, massive performances from players who were given a chance. Ben Jason Dixon, Colossal, Alwick Lowe, really, really solid. Uh, Grant Williams off the bench, really good. Um, Quaker Smith back to being, you know, that impactful self that, that we kind of used to. Malcolm Marks, yes, getting a yellow card, but was really good off the bench and um, got a decent uh, about 50 odd minutes in. So in general, I think all Bok fans very, very happy with, with what we just saw there because um, we've been waiting for um, a performance against Tier 1 Nation of that kind of caliber. And it was almost a... a, 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 a scoreless performance in terms of, of keeping Australia out. And I can't remember the last time I've seen Australia be kept out. And it did take two yellow cards and 76 minutes for them to eventually breach the Bok defense. Uh, before we look at uh, some of the stats and exactly where the game was won and lost, uh, please do smash a like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's go through it, shall we? So things all started pretty well. Uh, Sia Khaleesi went over in the ninth minute. And what a weird in innovation from the, the line-out there. Ball to the back of the line-out to uh, Ben Jason Dixon, who then throws it into uh, um, Eben Smith, who had been lifted, by the way. So two lifters. Ben Jason Dixon, back to Eben Smith. Down they go for the early more. Sia Khaleesi tears it off around the back, and he goes over in the ninth minute. Such a cool, um, innovative uh, try from the coaching staff. Uh, Sasha Bamagamazulu had missed an earlier penalty, then adds the extras to make it 7 0 after 10 minutes. Um, and then we really stepped it up again. Uh, butchered a bit of a try, had, had a fantastic break. Sasha Bamagamazulu down the right hand side, creating that space. Uh, really a, 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 a three on one situation, cutting inside. Such a bad decision from him, um, and especially a weird because he's such a good decision maker. But to be fair, he made up for it because uh, PSF Toy went over 23 minutes later and uh, Billy was instrumental in that build-up. He actually had a really good game at Billy Leroux, um, apart from that 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 try, which should have been scored. Um, he was involved in a lot. So far, I'm going to be making no issue there. Then a bit of a controversial moment uh, with uh, Andrew Kellaway being yellow card in the 29th minute, picking up Kouros Reinach, um, tip tackle, dropping him on the ground, not putting him down safely. Kurt Rang landing on his head. Um, it was bent, but it was not deemed to be worthy of an upgrade to a red card. He got very lucky that Andrew Killaway, um, who, however, did take the opportunity off the result uh, over five minutes later. Kurt Lawrence off a bit of a messy line out, turn, beat one, found so much space in front of him. He goes over, scores the try. Sats by McGovern converts, and at half time, 21 points to nil. Um, which was really good, but could have been even more. Such was the dominance of um, of the box. And uh, if we then look at uh, uh, the second half, it took a while to get going, and uh, 61 minutes uh, until we managed to uh, eventually get back to scoring. And it was Quaker Smith who came off the bench and went over a nice little um, couple of phases. Pierce Depp, Tory running it hard, and then a bit of a pop up from Grant Williams to Quaker Smith coming in on speed on the angle as well. He went over, um, Sasha adding the extras, and then beautiful from the kickoff, from the kickoff, um, Billy LaRue uh, could often to keep ball in place. Sasha Farmer Gomez, they ran the hands um, to Jesse Creel, who had, had his bell spaced on the left hand side, cut inside, got away from one, and then powered down the middle. Uh, drawing in two defenders and then the perfect pass left-hand side to Kurt Lawrence, who went over for his brace. Um, and things were looking comfortable at 33. But things got a bit more complicated. Malcolm Marks had a card 66 minutes for head contact. Mark was starting to follow him into the bin 71 minutes for uh, consecutive penalties, almost a time waste time. Uh, I mean, the, the yellow card for, I mean, the idea of time wasting when we're 33 points to nil up is a weird one. Uh, Hunter Basami eventually going over the 75th minute. Um, not, very nice kick, it must be said, from Lineik. 
um, from the, the side. And then Jesse Creel trying to go for an interception. Uh, the 78th minute was deemed to have deliberately knocked it on. And as a result, uh, he went into the bin as well. Let's look at some of the stats, shall we say? Uh, minutes in the lead, 73 minutes from uh, from the box. 90% of the game in the lead. Um, but uh, let's have a look at the, the at all the stats, shall we? And then we'll talk about a couple of key players. Uh, Terry is 52 to 48 in favor of the box possession. 52% for the box um, but uh, 9% in the last 10 minutes. So that shows you how much pressure we're under. 91% possession for the Wallabies. Set plays, the scrum was dominant. Whilst it says 75% win and 100% win for the Wallabies, the box scrum was really good. One, three or four penalties, I think, out of the scrums. Lineouts, a couple of inaccurate lineouts from both sides, but uh, I really enjoyed the, the innovation we saw at the lineouts for, for the box. Uh, on attack, we uh, 287 post-contact meters, nine line breaks, 142 carries, um, far more pass as well than, than Australia. So really look to attack today. Um, 15 turnovers lost. Probably need to look after possession a little bit better. And uh, this one towards the end was, was a bit poor. In the end, conceding 12 penalties, three out of cars, not ideal. But um, I think if we look into that sort of 68 mark, minute mark, we probably would have conceded about eight penalties, I reckon. Um, and and was the yellow card came around then as well. So 66 minutes of really good discipline and then a, a bad 10 minutes. Uh, Australia, other than that, they conceded 15 penalties, one yellow card, um, tackle completion for the box, 138, uh, missing 88, 18, a completion of 88%. Uh, kicking more in Australia as well, but I really like the way that we kick, for example. A couple kicks in behind. Um, some some nice, real good main game management. Let's talk about some key players. I thought Sash Palmer Gomez really looked like a veteran. You know, so, so comfortable. A couple of mistakes, missed a touch twice, um, missed a penalty. Also, you know, that 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 that, that kick, well, he went up when Kubis Rank went up and he kind of collided with him, but also a really good line break. Kicked really well off the tee, just the two missed kicks. Uh, the first one was a proper shank. The, the second one was a bit better, but apart from that, kicked really nicely. Four uh, conversions to his name in that match. Uh, defended really nicely. Generally kicked pretty well. Uh, Peter Stead, the toy, absolutely colossal. 12 carries from him, 9 from Vili Uh If you look at line breaks, Kurt Lawrence with 3. Uh, Tackles from Peter, Ben Jason Dixon, 19. Uh, massive, massive shift. I thought Ben Jason Dixon really put his hand up today. Um, if Arcus name is not fit, I think you go with that as well. So you go Peter Stead, the toy at 5. Ben Jason Dixon at 7. Happy days, really. Other good performances, I thought Ulrich Lowe stepped up and, uh, and put his hand up. I thought he was really impressive. Um, Jesse Creel looked really good again. Vili LaRue was, was at his usual, uh, in creative self. Uh, the front row, Oxen Chair was fantastic. Um, so, and Sia Khaleesi, once again, looking really, really good in this new uh, system. So, uh, yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. And uh, thank you very much for, 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 for watching so far. Because now...